Do you guys feel that? Yes. Just me? All right, that's cool. That's about right. All right, let's uh, get the next presenters up here. Kyle Lee and Josh Cates. <laughs> I'm Josh Cates. I'm Kyle. We are here to talk about, well, not really about Fresno, just things we've been doing in Fresno. And you guys so you guys are just going to have to listen and have fun. <laughs> um, we're actually involved with the revitalization of Fresno, and it's an awesome opportunity for us. We're young, and we just want to design and build. And build. <laughs> um, you know, we see Fresno as a blank slate right now. Uh, we got the revitalization of Ironbird Lofts, you know, H Street coming down. But on the other hand, you also have the smaller buildings, the warehouses, the, the empty buildings downtown that, you know, you can do anything with. Um, yeah, blank slate. Uh, we uh, like to design with a, you know, we have to have a passion for what we're doing. If you don't have a passion, there's no, no point in doing it and using sustainable products and uh, upcycling materials. So along with those three, criteria, if you will. Uh, this brings us to our first project we want to share with you. This is a project we did concurrently with uh, Fresno State and Arthur Dyson, not the backing guy, he's an architect. Uh, it's, a, it's a homeless shelter, but more importantly, it's a, it's a stepping stone for the homeless to go from homelessness uh, back into society. And this... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, this one here uh, is actually the Fresno Art Museum. It was there for a month. I'm sure you guys all saw it. Um, it was... <laughs> Arthur Dyson had a presentation too, and we did it with him, so that was fun. Uh, so the material that we chose, bamboo, pallet, you know, recycled stuff, <laughs> it, it, not easy. Uh, there was not a real construction method for bamboo, so we kind of had to come up with our own, which was the bamboo truss uh, that we had to develop our own, and that's supposed to hold up the roof system. Uh, we also had the pallets, which we interlaced uh, to create an aesthetically pleasing design, uh, as well as a strong and durable connection. It's a lot more fun using materials that aren't, you know, there's no conventional way of using them. And uh, just seeing what you can do and whatever, you know, your imagination you know, lets you do, I guess, you can do. And it's uh, rewarding. You know, using these pallets, we also had the opportunity to, to do bigger things like this that you see here. This is the two-person sleeping unit um, that is built entirely of these pallets, 100% uh, recycled. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's awesome stuff. <laughs> Um, after uh, we did the first Eco Village, we took it a step further and we started using shipping containers. And uh, this right here is actually a community center we were designing uh, with Arthur Dyson um, for the actual Eco Village, you know, the entrance into the Eco Village, uh, and using shipping containers, which are generally you know, used for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the great thing about shipping containers is they, they offer a good building block, to, a, a good base. You, know, you, you can do so many different things with them, cut them open, you know, attach things to them, do many, many different iterations of the same kind of structure. Uh, put them in any formation, you can stack them, there's just endless possibilities with this kind of material. Uh, and the, the, actually, the, right now we're working on a project at 1821 Calaveras, 1821 Calaveras, it's on Broadway in Calaveras, it's right down the street, and it's going to be artist studios and gallery spaces, uh, and which Fresno would love to have, I'm sure. Yes, uh, and so what you're going to see in the next slide, uh, is going to be what the rendered image is, is the, the finished project. Uh, you're also going to see the floor plan of the building. Uh, we have five spaces, four of which are rentable artist studios. Uh, we have three galleries and we have a workspace in the back. Um, so that's, again, the finished project. And this, uh, the building it's in is uh, from about the 1920s. So it's old. It's old and it's got a lot of, it had a lot of bad things about it, you know, with the previous owners and then you know, people putting fluorescent nasty uh, light bulbs up um, and then just wiring them everywhere. It was a pain. So the first problem was, you know, the first step was clearing all that away, getting all the, the, the existing issues out of the way so we could start our initial construction. Uh, once we got the, all That's that cleaned up, up in the left corner or right corner. <laughs> <laughs> once we got all that cleaned up, uh, we started initial construction, which was wall framing, setting our posts, the, the recycled timbers that we got from Firestone Building when it was demolished, uh, and the posts that support the actual walls. Uh, another material that we chose was the corrugated steel. Uh, this material was actually sitting in a metal scrap yard. Uh, just collecting rain, water, dust, anything. And once you took it into the building, it created a nice, comfortable, warm feeling. Uh, and it wasn't the easiest material to work with, but then you end up with something like this. 
which Lord. speaks for itself. <laughs> and uh, you know, and that, that coffee table right there, it's, it's a new modern, you know, concrete coffee table, you know, with that old rusty metal and just, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it all fits together. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, so what you're seeing now is actually the view down the hallway, uh, framed by those recycled timbers. Um, you're seeing also the, one of the, the artist studio spaces. Uh, they're larger spaces, so it gives artists a lot more room to work with, and you know they can do bigger things. We actually have an artist right there, which is that's her stone press. She presses these stone tablets and does cool stuff like that. Uh, the the sliding we chose, um, we actually found from an old barn. And there was a ton of them, and so uh, we took these and we put these uh, chrome tip light bulbs in, so they actually shine the light down and spread it out rather than having dark spots, and it just gave an awesome gallery feel. More of an ambient light type setting. <laughs> um, we also had an opportunity to create these barn doors. Each unit has a five foot by eight foot barn door that we uh, we built completely out of recycled material, as you can see in the back of my truck. Uh, we took it from the bungalow that he just tore down over here off the Visadero in Fulton. So it started like that, ended like that. Yeah, this this is just a view of the you know how we wanted to keep the trusses just clean, and which was like our main challenge. And, and using these timbers that we found from Firestone Tire, and then these new brackets and these also rusted metal posts in between to just you know pull it all together, new and old. So the building opens April fifth. Uh, which is the same day as Art Hop, so we invite all of you guys to come out and check it out and support everything that we did there. And we're the base. Awesome. We're the base. Thank you. If you guys have any questions, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, we love what we do, obviously.